And you made some headlines a few months ago uh, with your comments on the blind side and the Hall of Fame. Um, I'm curious, has your stance on, on any of that changed? Do you still feel like maybe the Hall of Fame is is kind of looking down on right tackles? Or, or have you have you heard some things since, especially now that you've been named a finalist once more or, or becoming a finalist once more? Well, you know, uh, when I said that, I meant <clears throat> what I meant was the blind side, the perception of what the blind side has always kind of been misconstrued in my in my in my in my opinion. Um, we've had guys from PFF come out and tell you that the blind side, their data from the blind side is is now being um, uh, said whichever side the quarterback head is turned away from. And you watch, I mean, we, we're watching T.J. Watt destroy the lead from the left defensive end spot. We watch his brother destroy the lead from that same side, you know, and the rushes, I think so. I think in the 80s, <clears throat> the blind side, because of Lawrence Taylor, um, became such a big thing that people say, oh, that's the quarterback's blind side because they were only throwing to one side of the field. So it made the left tackle become the, the blind side of the field because they, they only threw right. I think now in the, the day's game and since 2000s, quarterbacks start, quarterbacks start throwing the ball all, all over the field. And I think when I said the blind side of the movie, it's just the perception of the media of what the blind side is. I have so many kids at my academy and their parents saying, hey, I only want to play left tackle. I'm like, why? Well, that's that's the best guy, and that's the that's where all the money is at. I said, well, and you start showing them, you start showing them data that that's not true. Not to take away from the left tackles, because the left tackles are, are are very important guys. But over the years, in the last twenty years, the entire line has become super important. And I think um, I've heard voters say in the past before, "Oh, he's not a left tackle, he's not this." But I'm like, well, look at the guys that we as right tackles that we face on that side of the line of scrimmage. And I think the guys I faced and, and the job that I've done, I think it's only it's only one or two right tackles in the Hall of Fame. I think I mean, it, if it's not if it's not one or two, it's like it's like a, it's under five. And I think it's just been very misrepresented. I think because sometimes people get the wrong misconception about because scouts have said or oh, the left tackle, left tackle. But when you know when you play football, you realize that both tackles are important. Hell, in today's game, the guards are important. You know what I mean? So I think just people. Uh, I'm just blessed, man, to have an opportunity that people are now looking at the things that I've done, uh, the, the, the staff, the guys I've went against. I'm, I'm happy and blessed that they're taking the opportunity to, to at least look and see that, you know, just because we play on some bad teams, uh, we have some really great players here at the Bengals. Uh, my, myself, uh, Corey Dillon, uh, Ocho, wow. Tequila Spice, guys like that, you know, and the guys I played with them in my modern era, there's obviously the older guys like Kenny Anderson, guys that we think that, should have been in the Hall of Fame, uh, Lamar Parrish and guys like that. So I think we're just pushing the Bengals narrative. And I, and I said the blind side because that movie kind of made people, it kind of r- rolled the point only again that the people in the, in the 90s and the 80s were saying on the blind side, the blind side, where I think Michael Orr, he grew up playing like right tackle, I think. <laughs> you know, so uh, it, it, was, it was something fun to do, man, fun to say, but I still think, you know, there has been a bias toward right tackles. Yes, I do. That all being said, how do you feel about your chances this year? You never know, man. Like you, you got to go in that room and you got to start over again. I've been a finalist the last three years, and you have to start all over again. So you know, it's just a, it's a waiting game, man. You know, my high school coach and mentor, Robert Brazil, it took him thirty years. You know, um, he he's mentored me since I was fourteen years old out of my high school. So. If I was to make it, we would have two guys from my high school in the Hall of Fame. And that, that, that's probably something that's, that's uh, is, is it, if it hasn't happened, it's very rare. You know what I mean? So it's a waiting game, and you got to get eighty percent of the people in that room to believe. And I think right now, um, I'm, I'm hoping more and more people are seeing what I did and and paying attention. Um, a lot of voters in the room have said good things about me over the years to me, and um, just never know. You, you hold your fingers. There's a lot of great players out there deserving. Um, so many men play this game that, that are great players that haven't gotten in the Hall of Fame. And I think sometimes, you know, it's a bad rap sometimes, guys. You haven't been in there, but you can't, you know, some some guys are surefire guys. And some guys, you got to really dig and really see, hey, this guy was on a bad team, but he was really good. And I think uh, myself and a lot more bingo, bingo guys fall in that category.